Hi, I'm Caroline Gow in the Baird & Warner Glenbrook office. Please, please click the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to connect with you at Caroline Gow Baird & Warner. Hi, welcome to part three of the Gow House renovation project. So last time I saw you, we were just about ready for demo day. And so we were gonna knock out the kitchen wall to the dining room. Um, so the first thing we did was, if you remember, there was a door here, here outside to the garage with a window that were original from 1954. So we replaced it with this nice sliding door, which gives us some Southern light. And it also opens up the area for the new island. We replaced the windows on the front of the house and the side of the house. So here we have a fixed picture window in one of the bedrooms and then next to it is the casement window that opens up. And this is a nice quality window. It's a um, manufacturer here in Chicago. And uh, we're very pleased with it. They're vinyl windows. Now we're just gonna have to touch up the stain where we took out the old window boxes. Um, and then on the side of the house, those are awning windows. And that's the one that fans out as a hinge. These are called casement windows. Then on the front of the house, we got rid of all the lines and we have a large picture window and one casement window for ventilation. If you remember, in the kitchen and the old dining room, we took out the tile and we put new hardwood floors there. This room and the old dining room over here had um, nice hardwood floors in good condition, so we just stripped them all and we sanded them and we made them all match. So now in the kitchen and our um, island area, you can't even tell that there had been a wall there. They, they made the ceiling all nice and even. The floors are seamless. Um, and check back on my, hard, my hardwood floor, about a uh, video I did on stained hardwood floors um, and the process we did to get this nice custom gray color. I'm very pleased with our custom cabinets. Uh, we got an alabaster white gray. So these are uh, maple cabinets and they've been custom stained. Um, this alabaster is a Sherwin Williams color. And then here is a green and I'd like to call it Caroline's green because this is the third iteration of the color sample. So we got as deep as we could to still show the maple gray um, green. And then this backsplash is gonna go in a vertical up here. It's got some green and it's um, a ceramic, I think it's porcelain actually, um, tile. And um, we found some hardware at Menards. This is the oiled rub bronze. It's gonna match the, um, the faucet that goes here. And my farmhouse sink um, has been put in over on this side. And then over here we have a nice, um, built-in pantry with pull-out shelves. The island has been a work in progress. Some of us wanted one and some of us didn't. So now that we have an island, when it was installed, we realized that it was just too deep. So um, because they were custom cabinets, he was able to just chop out a section in the middle, which was Derek's idea. It was great because we still have cabinets on this side. So the only difference is that this was supposed to be where I could have uh, three bar stools looking into the kitchen, but now that would just make this too tight with the door. So instead, we're gonna have an overhang on either side, as Derek calls it, wings. So we're gonna do a bar stool on either end, and that'll give us a little bit more counter space going this way to roll out the cinnamon rolls. Um, I still get the nice island, but we had to make sure that there's 36 inches on either side for um, egress. And then right here, this is gonna be the vent hood. It's a pretty stainless with a glass top. And then this is gonna be an induction cooktop here. And if we ever get the oven, it's gonna go down in the center. My favorite element at this point is the skylight because this is in the center of the kitchen, so it was rather dark. And because of the addition, there are actually two roofs right over this section. So we asked the roofer if we could do a skylight, and I said as big as possible, and he wanted to fit it in between the rafters. So we have this long, skinny one, and it's quite a deep tunnel going up. 
but it's really nice when there's no light on in here. It still feels like natural light and it opens up the space and it gives us a lot more um, natural light, especially because this space is south. So um, I'm very pleased about that. And now when you look up, you see trees. We are in the home stretch. Next up, the counters are gonna be installed on Thursday. Um, they're finishing up the trim and the drywall and the ceiling. They're gonna um, have the electrician come tomorrow and hang the vent hood and put the um, electric in the um, cooktop area and well as well as on the sides of the um, outlets that we have that. Then the appliances come on August 4th. We can get everything installed and the plumber can come and hopefully before the kids arrive, we will have a kitchen put together. Please, please click the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to connect with you at Caroline Gow, Baird and Warner.